Yvonne, you are speaking a lot of English. How much did you pay for a fish? <laughs> a lot of broken English. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How much did you pay for a fish? Uh, it was a thousand dollars. You know, a thousand dollars. Yeah, in fact, I got a very good, nice discount. You know, because usually he's charging. He told me usually for people like them, they're charging like three thousand dollars. You know, so he's like a brother. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. So I, I went like, you know, I think for this it makes a lot of sense because it. Delivers. Yvonne, um, yeah. in Zambian kwacha, a thousand dollars is like twenty-one thousand kwacha. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I am not maybe I am very much behind. Yeah. I have never heard of anybody charging anybody in this country 21,000 kwacha for a feature. Really? So, uh, you are saying yeah. you are grateful? I don't yeah, yeah maybe yeah, it's a, it's a well, I don't know. 21,000 kwacha for a feature. Yeah, in fact, uh, like I said before, this was a discount. It's a uh, norm. He told me he usually charges like three thousand. Did you talk to Slab D himself? Exactly. Yes, yes. Because that's what he told me. Because I was I was also trying to find out because I happen to have some friends who are artists. In people. my mind, you talk. Mm -hmm. In my mind, you are talking to third parties. That's not store, but that yeah. exaggerated the amounts. But if you are saying that yeah. you talked to himself and you paid a thousand dollars, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, he told me that. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Guan Mchalo. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Zambians, but I've got a problem. So, what's up, D? If he charged uh, 21,000 kwacha, or correctly, $1,000. I think Slap D has really worked hard to build this brand, and he has also invited other musicians whom he paid much more than that. When invited, was he to feature or better ranking? He was charged more than that just for them to feature on his music because those have also have their own brands. And this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to build up his name. But in $1,000, I think it's a beautiful song and it has made some noise on the Zambian scene because of Slap D being featured. 2000 kwasha for a yeah. feature. Yeah, that's what he told me, especially for international artist actually yeah to get it clear <laughs> yeah that's my laughing that was so sorry to start laughing i don't know it <laughs> but that's just the truth you know ah yeah. they use the word they they said international artist yeah exactly for international artists they have their rates because i was so curious and the reason why i had to ask this because i happen to have some friends also i have a friend uh, in finland is a musician also so he went like, oh, I've been a bigger fan of uh, Slap D and how did you do it? I want to get connections and so for them. Like, no, don't worry. I'm going to try to find out myself how much he's charging and, uh, you know. But I told him, don't worry because he's been really kind, to be honest. And he's, he's been really nice. I told him he's going to give you a very good discount. Usually that's, you know. Yvonne, yeah. Yvonne, where can people get the song? Um, yeah. If I was watching this interview right now, I want to go and download the song um and and listen to it where can people get the song right now at this very point yeah okay so people would get the song on versesani.com uh, and of course i'm saying also by tribe yeah of course it was really a wonderful experience working with uh slap d yeah because uh he's such an amazing hip-hop artist it was really amazing. He delivered on his verse. It was really, really, really dope. And that's the reason why I had to go for him. Yeah. Especially for this song specifically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't so complicated. My experience was really wonderful. He's one of those people who are so much super down to earth. And it's really easy to joke with him. He's got a very good sense of humor. And uh, yeah, it's just so open-minded and of course we could talk, we would connect and I just had to really reconnect through the people that I knew also like my representatives there in Zambia. So we could actually really work very well, yeah, in this song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay, this song it's called uh, Uka Ukalilele and that means wake up are you still sleeping it's a question especially for ladies out there 
Uka ukalilele wake up. Are you still sleeping? You hear me, girls? So anyway, it's a song that talks about women. It's a, actually it's a very sensitive topic, I would say. You know, it's a song that talks about lazy women who are always laying down in bed the whole day. They don't want to work. They always want to wait for married men or sugar uh, daddies to come and bring food, put food foods on their plates or secure all their you know expenses or their bills and so forth you know so that's what the song is talking about it's actually very very sensitive because i know there are a lot of women out there in the world not just in africa or in zambia but everywhere you find gold diggers out there and they're still doing the same same thing they can't just get up there go out there even just try to sell even tomato simple businesses that they could actually do just in order for them to survive you know survival it's not always about having expensive uh jobs that are the, the jobs that are giving them more millions hustle surviving is about uh, managing to get something that you can be able to get food to put in your belly or you having a decent a shelter or home you know, so I'm really happy that Slap D also um, agreed to jump on this because it's very uh, true and it's more real. And this is what we're going through today. Most women out there, they don't know how to work. It's all, all it's always all about uh, doing makeup. They would even go that far that, that they would even get involved in married men, you know, dating other married men who seems to be doing very OK financially. Of course, as long as they're securing their bills and so forth, they are really okay. They are not scared. But for me, I find that to be very cheap because at the same time as a woman, I find that to be very, you know, disrespectful. I'm disrespecting myself if I start behaving such a way. Of course, I'm not perfect, but it's just important for, for, for us as women. We really need to respect ourselves in order for us to be respected. You know, in my age, I wouldn't want to date someone who's that's just my opinion i know not some not all of you would really agree with me but i wouldn't date an older man you know because i want that man to secure my you know my expenses my bills and so forth but that's just my thing better date someone because of you know you have love out of love and i don't always date someone because of money you know so most of these relationships that we have today they are based on lies you know, it's always about money, always about wealth. That's a sad thing, I would say. This is what is going on out there. Yeah. So this is what the song is talking about, basically. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so really happy that it came out really good. And also the first song went really well. Nengang, uh, I know the one I did also with Mike Ben. It went really well. Yeah, but this one is actually a powerful song because it has a very powerful meaning and that's something that we should be really, you know, think about. I think as a woman, we really need to stop disrespecting ourselves. I think we can still do much better than there. More hardworking women out there. Go sell some tomatoes in the market, on the market. Do something clean. Don't be ashamed. Don't be too picky. A lot of women, they're out there trying to be fancy, being expensive. Ah, I can't do this. This doesn't suit me. It doesn't suit me. You know, I always want to try to look pretty. I can't do this. I worked. Personally, I'm talking from experience. I've been homeless for five years myself. You know, it's a long story. But look at me, you know. I'm not perfect. I do a lot of things that I'm not proud of. But hey, this is just the truth. I never really dated married men. I was never out there, you know, looking for married men. No dating someone because of money no so don't be a gold digger so this is what the song is talking about go to um, versesani.com that's the music platform in zambia if you wanted to download the song and also you could actually find my song on apple music google play and spotify yeah so feel free to listen to them and stay positive stay safe Spread some love and be who you are. Stay real to yourselves and one love.